feel good now? Or? Yeah, I'm good. This is a long recovery process. It's usually four to six weeks. So I think I'm a couple weeks past that time now. So I'm good. How long was it affecting you before you ended up sitting out those games? I could start feeling about a week, but I thought it was just like regular fatigue. And then I started, I got blood work done, and it was, you know, what it was. And I was done after that. How hard was it to have to sit out then and to watch your guys playing in the tournament? And you couldn't play. It was hard because it's not it's not like some see like a broken bone or anything, but it's just long term health kind of thing. Where you know your health is more important than you know a game. So so they said it took through it. So when were you able to get back to some basketball work? Um, a couple weeks after we lost, I started slowly doing stuff, um, and then these past couple weeks I've been actually like sweating and actually working out. Does that feel good? Yeah, it does. Finally get back and actually get to work and you know, working to get better. Are you like full 100% working out or are you still holding things back? I'm 100% now. This past, what's that? This past, this past like a week. I missed the beginning. Did you lose a lot of weight, Kate? Yeah, I was 209. So and I was like 20. Huh? I'm like 230 now. So. 209? Yeah, I was 209. I feel like you were wasting away. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, was, I was skinny. I was sick. <laughs> Did you take any, like, people were going like, I oh, know, what? Or, you know, like, oh, it's got to be something else kind of mm -hmm. thing. Just. I don't know. It was just kind of a mystery. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I know for a couple of days we could, it was just sick, 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 and it was mono, which I didn't really understand what it was either. Sure. To actually look into it, so like, let me like explain. It's like the most, the most crucial thing. Sure. So if I were to get hit hard, I would rush my spleen, and I don't, no one wants to see that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so. so were you playing? And you said you started feeling coming off. Were you at the Big Ten tournament and yeah. feeling like I'm something's wrong? Yeah, that's what I was sick. You know, you know, I wasn't playing sickness or something, but I just played through it and then came back on to be out progressively worse, so then I got blood work down and it was a little worse after that. Right. You know, Dad says he's a germaphobic. Would he get anywhere near you? No, he, he, was pretty, he was pretty far. I think I touched him. I don't think I shook his hand and had him on back or anything for a couple of weeks. So. Okay, the program kind of went through a, uh, an interesting couple of weeks there. How energized are you and the people that are coming back about the future? Uh, I mean, like the transfers and all that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was it was a weird couple of weeks just because we didn't really know who was going to be here and all that. Um, but I think now we've pretty much settled into who we have. I think we're looking forward to it. I think we've got a good core group coming back. Um, with you know what we what we lost more coming back, I think we'll be good. We're ready Dad had for said it. that um, you know he kind of saw it coming. The guys that were going to leave. Did you guys sense that there's, there's I guess uh, four now who, who walked out? Maybe yeah. um, everybody's elsewhere going to see them. I mean, you kind of, if people are just discouraged, just regular not playing a lot as early as you thought you would. But they made all freshmen, so I didn't really look that much into it. Um, but then, you know, so they were looking at Twitter and they were all transfer, transfer. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I just started to do, we had to deal with it however we could. Hey, James, on Coach Bowles taking the head coaching job over at I'm, proud, I'm, I'm happy for him. He, I think he really deserves it. I mean, he's one of the best coaches I've ever been around. I'm glad he got a head coaching job. Hey, Jada, you went through. You didn't play a ton as a freshman, yeah. but you decided to come back. Yeah. Why did you maybe decide to come back when you were kind of in a similar situation that uh, some of the guys that left were in? Uh, you just, I didn't like to, you know, quit when things got hard. When the, came in the last year's off season worked, you know, a lot harder and all that, and you know, came to where I was this year. Not, not to bash the guys that have left, but now that you've got all guys who want to be here and that are confident in that. The atmosphere around the program a little better. Yeah, it's a lot different. Um, just because I'm gonna say not, not negativity, but they didn't want necessarily want to be here, so it's all positive thoughts. Um, everyone just wants to get better and you know have a better year than we did this year. He said you find stuff out on Twitter. You start seeing the guys are Did you were you were you guys talking to each other? Were you calling each other, saying hey, what's going on? Are you yeah, staying? Yeah, I mean we were talking, just you know friendly conversation. And I just thought they were discouraged, you know, mm -hmm. just not playing with how the season ended and all that. Um, but you don't see each other as much when the season ends just because practices, so I didn't really see a lot of them. We took a week off after the season, we didn't really see anybody. So I only saw Dan because I had a class with him, and then and so, so I slowly seen, slowly seen everybody on Twitter, and that was it. When you saw him, you know, kind of one after another going out, did it start to feel like, when is this going to end? Who's all, who, who are we actually going to have? <laughs> I did think that because it was really like one after the other, after another, after another. And then, you know, Bowles getting the head coaching job and all that. I was like, wow, who's going to be here? Um, but yeah, we're settled in, you know, we're happy with what we got. Do you have people asking you, just, I don't know, friends, family, saying, hey, what, what's going on in Ohio State? Yeah, a lot of people, <laughs> because they saw the same thing. It was like, who's staying? They asked me who's staying. 
I don't know. So but, when you have maybe like a high school teammate saying, hey, what's going on there? What do you tell people? Uh, like, honestly, well, I didn't know. I, all I knew was pretty much what they knew. Yeah, he just left. I don't know why. He was also leaving. I don't know. And that was, that was pretty much it.